Hi guys and welcome to part three of my wardrobe revamp. In today's wardrobe revamp I wanted to start off by giving you some really important advice. First thing is when you are thinking of doing a wardrobe revamp and particularly if you're going to do it yourself and not engage a stylist please make sure that you've got enough time. I know it sounds silly but I promise you it's not as silly as you think. It's not uncommon to run out of time. And here's the thing that you're wanting to do. It's not just about redoing your wardrobe and changing coat hangers and getting rid of clothing and you know figuring out the gaps and all of that. It's also about making your wardrobe work for you and your lifestyle. Because that's one of the key areas I find that makes it easier to then get dressed in the morning particularly when you've got organization, where you've got color coding, where you've got all things all in the right order, it just makes it so much easier. I mean, think of a kitchen, right? It's exactly the same. In your kitchen, I have no doubt that you've got all your storage and all your pots and pans and everything together in the way that you use them. Your wardrobe is absolutely no different to that. So there are a couple of things to really consider your uh, coat hangers and also making sure that you've got enough time. Now, what I've done with my wardrobe that I wanted to take you through, so I've sectioned it off. I've, I do have the luxury of space, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I'm very fortunate that I've got quite a lot of space in my bedroom, but, but then again, I don't have as much space as what I'd like, and I think that's probably something that we all suffer from. You know, we always want something that we don't have, right? It's no different in the, in, um, in the wardrobe department, I don't think. So I wanted to just show you, and I might just see if I can tilt you around a little bit just to show you what I've done here. Okay, so I've sectioned my wardrobe off just so that I've got all my, and by the way, I don't have jeans only in a particular area. I've got just all my pants. The jeans are all here and I've got all my pants there. What I've done down the bottom is I've utilized, there was this really old Ikea table, actually it was in my daughter's bedroom and it wasn't being used. And I thought, what a great idea to just place it in the wardrobe like that and be able to put handbags on there um, on top and also on the bottom. Um, on the side here, just here, there, you can hear them rattling. They're all my belts, right? And I've also got a couple of bigger belts down there. Moving across to this side here, let me see if I can just move you a little bit just to show you that side. So moving across here, I've got all my jackets. So my jackets again are organized from color and purpose and same with my skirts down the bottom. So again, making sure that it doesn't matter, um, you know, you might, there, there are some people that like to organize, you know, evening wear with evening wear, day wear with day wear, etc. But I like to make sure that everything is in the one area, just because then if I wanna wear pants, it doesn't matter whether they're jeans or, uh, you know, perhaps uh, more, more tailored pants or pants for a particular event, they're just all there. I don't have to go to different sections of my wardrobe to access my pants. So that's the way I've sectioned it off. Now, just hang on in two seconds, I will take you on the other side. Hi guys, and welcome to the other side of my wardrobe. Wasn't that quick? Okay, so this side we focus on long sleeve and short sleeve blouses, knitwear and gym gear. Okay, so, and again, remember, this is the way I use my wardrobe. It doesn't have to be right for you. I'm just showing you just some ideas and giving you some ideas on how I set it out, okay? So let me walk you through. So over this side here, we've got long sleeve blouses. And as you can see, they start with the white and ecru and ivory, and then it moves forward into all the colors ending with black. Down the bottom here, Again, same sort of principle. If you can sort of see there, same sort of principle we've got. It starts with the colored clothing actually at the very top here. It moves over into the navies, a couple of green, uh, then into gray, white, uh, ecru, beige, and then black. My gym gear, same sort of thing. I've organized it into all my blacks over this side, 
all my colored tops over this side and down the bottom I've got just my sloppy joes and zip jackets that I'll wear to the gym when it's cool and up the, up here on this side here this is all my knitwear now I'll admit something to you it took me a while to get my head around putting my knitwear on hangers now the reason being that you know we have this idea that obviously knitwear is delicate on in most cases anyway so we want to make sure that we don't you know damage it or ruin it in any way however the coat hanger that I found and let me show you that I love the most is this flock hanger which is velvet which is wonderful and it's nice and thin which means it actually maximizes space and it minimizes bulk for that reason you can put anything on this which is wonderful you don't want your hanger to be overpowering on your clothing in other words you don't want your clothing to be damaged by your hanger and I find personally that with all the other hangers particularly the metal ones please make sure the dry cleaning ones just throw them out as soon as you get them because they can really really damage your clothing so these things are the best they're called flock I think you can get them in like Kmart probably Target spotlight places like that and I'm sure that recently these things were on sale at, I'm pretty sure at spotlight and I think Kmart's got a box of them as well so look absolutely ideal for when you're wanting to update your wardrobe now as I mentioned to you earlier I don't actually section my wardrobe off by uh, day and night or you know well I do actually with evening wear all my evening wear is in another place in my wardrobe because I don't wear that often obviously but the reason I haven't got casual and you know evening or casual and day to night or anything like that is because I'm a big believer that it's really nice to actually mix it up a little bit I love wearing some really lovely style pants for example or trousers with a simple top then mixed with a beautiful statement necklace and let me show you what I mean so example these are a pair of pants that I, I recently got these from Q I did get these this year they're absolutely stunning so they've got this amazing detail here they've also got let me see if I can feel where that is to show you okay they've got a little bit you may not be able to see through here there's also a little bit of it you can use it as a belt loop but they're absolutely gorgeous and the bottom of them is kind of like a they get they taper in at the bottom so they're gorgeous now you could easily wear something like that with a simple top like this it's a, this is a white top that I got from chic ages ago right I'm sort of running out of space to show you um, with a beautiful statement necklace let me see if I can move you back a little bit to actually give you a better idea of how this might look because I think that this is really important to remember and consider so this just looks beautiful do you see what I mean so if I if I actually um, organize my wardrobe in such a way that I just limit myself to wearing evening or day wear or things like that then I'm not exploring and I'm not playing with clothing so it's really important that you sort of play a little bit and just put long sleeve short sleeve pants and jeans so just set it out like that skirts shorts things that are practical now let me take you to the other side and show you the coats and the boots wait there okay this is the last part I promise right coats and boots again similar principle guys so all my coats are here sectioned off by color down the bottom I've got my boots and my longer boots <laughs> this is really tricky and my longer boots down here so what's important is making sure that and if, if you can see the flock hangers that I've used which are absolutely amazing um can you see how beautiful now remembering these are coats right so and I've got loads of coats in there but yet because of these flock hangers and because they're nice and thin 
it doesn't actually I've been able to put all of my coats in there without squashing them with you know like they look really really lovely and neat and they're not all jammed in there and this is why it's really important to make sure that you do have the right kind of hangers when you're hanging things up so I hope you have enjoyed my very extended version of my wardrobe revamp but look it's really important um it's great if you want to do it yourself and with a lot of people still working from home and and all of that what a great time to really look at your wardrobe and shop in there first you know save yourself some money shop in your wardrobe have a look at you know get creative get creative with clothing and color and just try and make different looks that you've never considered before so uh would love your feedback i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you may be and i look forward to seeing you again really soon on another one of my videos take care guys see you later